What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Chantal did a mukbang this morning with a little bit more than normal to talk about outside of just obviously sitting there, sweet iced tea, hot honey tenders with ranch. I've noticed Chantal constantly, think back to the sandwich the other day, needs at least two to three sauces. If you really care about the flavor of the food, are sauces that much of a necessity? She's got mac and cheese, and essentially the mac and cheese is from a box, and this is where at least for me, you kind of lose the foodie in Foodie Beauty. And with the beauty essentially already missing, given these images, what are we really left with? I mean, you can't present yourself as a food connoisseur and then have this junk meal. This is processed junk that she reheated. She has all day. She could have easily made this from scratch. Instead, we hear about how, you know, this is different mac and cheese than she's used to because the powdered sauce is mixed in with the noodles, not in a separate bag. She goes on to say that, you know, she would never order tenders again because, you know, these Kuwait frozen tenders are of such quality and, quote, real chicken. And then, of course, she gives us such nuggets of wisdom like you can add your own sauces, which, of course, that's not possible with any other nugget to keep the theme, or tender, only in Kuwait do they sell basic nuggets and tenders that you can add sauce to. Everywhere else, you're stuck. The flavor they give you in the bag is what you have. She cites her mix of honey and hot sauce, tastes like it's directly from a restaurant. And then she goes on to talk about how it's cheaper to make your own. But again, I, I would offer, this is assembling foods, okay? You're not making anything. When you Take your flipper and you put it into the bag of frozen tenders and you set them in the air fryer and you turn the air fryer on. And then you boil some milk and water and cream and cheese and you pour noodles in and you stir. That's not cooking. That's assembling a meal for yourself. And she can sit there and say, you know, she can get this really good bag of tenders for $10 or she could go into Raising Cane's just once. Where, of course, if you remember, Raising Cane's is where she went to cheat on her diet, which apparently she's no longer on. During this video, the table is just begging for mercy. It's pleading to break before she finishes. And, of course, she says it's because it's just got a loose leg. Her and Sala just haven't had time to fix it. She reiterates how good and spicy these are. And, obviously, the last one talking about her sauce, but really never gives, like, a complete recipe of, of how to make it. She says that she was too tired to get dressed today. So she's sitting there in her pajamas lounging. What a life. What a life where you get to dress up in your pajamas and eat chicken tenders from your air fryer and more than likely glorified what should be microwaved mac and cheese. But the bigger part of this picture is what we've noticed over this whole rebrand is essentially the removal of Salah. If you go to yesterday's video, the removal of the wedding ring. If you go to her description and her TikTok, apparently the videos with Salah are all gone. We don't see or hear him on the channel, and obviously he's made countless proclamations she's done talking about her personal life, apart from, you know, Salah had this, Salah had that, I made this for Salah. It doesn't really seem that she wants at this moment to project this marriage. Whether it's audibly through saying this is her husband, or visually with the cues of, here's my wedding ring, here's my husband in my video. Now, a lot of people, myself included, have talked about the upcoming date where Kuwait has been kind enough to give people that are not following their rules and trying to stay in the country under false pretenses the ability to just leave. Chantel's dilemma is that comes just before her payday. Now, if you want to kind of put everything together, We've seen more videos from Chantal in the past seven days than we've probably seen in the last two months. It does seem like she's consistently putting out content, which is generating income, and it would be more than likely that she would need to be leaving either this week or next week. They've already purchased luggage, and they've talked about places they want to go. So to me, it just seems a little bit strange that things have taken this turn, that things have went this direction. I feel like she's probably looking for an exit strategy if she doesn't already have one. 
She's probably already realizing she has to find a way out. If she doesn't, she's going to have no choice. And it's also ironic to me that a lot of the conversation we've heard in these videos always goes back to Canada. It's almost like she has Canada on her mind, but she's also been so defensive and saying, hey, I'm not going to go there. Why would that be? Why be so defiant? I mean, listen, the defiance starts with her going out, asking her audience for suggestions with her health, with meals, and then following through on none of it. And it's beyond just practical advice they give her. Whether someone's kind, whether someone's rude, whether someone lays out for her, like we've seen with Sansa Cooks, everything that she does. So even if she doesn't know, she's being informed. She's being educated by people on this platform the caloric density of her meals more than she informs the people that are watching how much she's eating. That, to me, is a testament to how little she cares. But I think she knows the fastest way to get money on this platform is consistency in content. What can Chantel do consistently, the most, and without drawing any attention to herself? It's mukmuks. This is her easiest path to generating as much income as she possibly can. Now, I will offer, obviously, we're not paid up through the exact day. So all the income that she's working for now is going to be provided next month. The date that she needs to move would technically be this month if she's not in true, actual good standing in Kuwait. Now, perhaps she's already went to them made some type of, I don't want to say plea deal, but made some agreement with them and saying, listen, this is the situation we're in. Things aren't working as we planned. I'm going to go ahead and find an exit, but I'm going to need 60, 90, however many days to accommodate that. And then she realizes she's going to backfill the story as she needs to see fit. But she's also going to have to generate income to make those trips even accessible to her in the short term. Now, I understand people also say, oh, her mother pays for all these trips. It's no big deal. But at the end of the day, she also needs to kind of make sure that these things are done. Outside of that, if you just look at Kuwait as a whole, if you just look at the last couple of days under the microscope of how many people are truly entertained by this, how many people are truly watching it, it's less and less and less. And I understand there's a large amount of people that think, oh, she's just doing this for a specific group. But the reality is the group of people that want to watch this content are not consuming it on her channel as much as people were going and consuming the drama content. Go back to her live stream where she went after everyone in the community, right? That video, not only is it three, four, five times the length of most of her mukbangs, it has two, three times the views of the recent mukbangs, which go hand in hand with generating much more income. She has the blueprint for success, and she tells us that all the time. She says, I don't want to go back to the old person I was. I'm not going back to wheelchairs and up all hours of the night. But she's doing more harm to her body, eating these meals, and assuming they're healthy for her because they're, quote, homemade, than anything else. Chantel's perception is if I make it, it's better than me going out. But with the quantity of food that she eats, it's just not the case. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching it. You know, just like Chantel's hand in that freezer to get food, I will be back soon as I can with more commentary.